Today I'm going to paint a piece inspired by the snake handling churches of America. So I had this idea of doing a skull with a rattlesnake around it and maybe a Bible. Skull of course representing death or danger. This is not meant to be having a go at the people who go to these churches. In fact, in some ways I'm kind of sympathetic towards what they do because they just read the Bible and it says that the believers will pick up serpents and that's what they do. So I do have a certain admiration for that, to be brave enough to just do what you believe. Anyway, you can see I've done a little design in my sketch pad here. It's good to work out a design before you commit to a painting. It makes the painting go quicker. I'm doing acrylic on board and I'm not using many colors at all. In fact, the main colors I'm using is white and burnt umber. There's a little bit of raw umber in there and a little bit of yellow. And that's it. Yeah, so I don't really have any problem with the snake handlers. Like I say, I kind of admire them in some ways because I'm a man myself. I sort of think, yeah, maybe it's a bit foolish. And sometimes these guys die. However, when you look at the news lately, there are churches in America carrying on way more dangerous than the snake handlers. Because the snake handling churches, they, uh, they're just dangerous to themselves. They're not encouraging anyone outside their church to do it. But in the current climate, the people who are completely ignoring the lockdown rules, they're putting other people's lives at danger. And they're way more, in my opinion, way more dangerous and even a little bit more kooky than the snake handling churches. Aren't you concerned you could infect other people if you get sick inside? No. People who don't go to this No. Church. I'm covered in Jesus' blood. I'm covered in Jesus' oh, blood. Cincinnati. This couple about to walk in with a toddler and a baby. And then there's this woman and man arriving. The woman hugs the man. That same man hugs the woman inside. I'm not concerned. The blood of Jesus cures every disease. Psalms 91, read it. Still, let's not delve on the negatives. This is all about knocking out a painting. Nice thing about using just burnt umber and white for most of it, it's just like doing a drawing. I'm really just doing a drawing with a paintbrush. Unlike just doing a normal drawing with a pencil, I can come back and use white and do that sort of balance. I usually try to go for a mid-tone and go darker and lighter on that. Except for snakes, I put down a blackish dark color first and put light colors on top of that. I do have another little bit of a trick here and that's where I just get a little tiny bit of raw umber, maybe a, the tiniest speck of Payne's Grey, and I mix it with clear gel medium. Or you can mix it with a varnish if you like, a clear varnish. And what this does is it creates like a glaze. In oil paint, you can just put glazes on things. In acrylics, you have to try and look for other ways of doing this. The top part of the painting, I've also glazed to make darker because I wanted the back of the rattlesnake to show up a bit better. And I'll put the Bible inscription here on the, well, it's going to be like a tombstone or a tomb marker in the background there. I'm using a very fine paintbrush now, but for most of it, I've not used a fine paintbrush. Not using a fine paintbrush tends to block it out, gives it a bit more realism. Then I just use a fine paintbrush just for a few finishing touches. I've also used some of that dark clear gel medium on the snake. You can see where that coils a bit behind the skull. I've put a little bit there just to shade it. And I might knock out a few teeth because these churches started in hillbilly feud country, so I can imagine a few of them might have a few missing teeth here and there. And that's just about it. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. Stay safe. Obey the lockdown rules. Keep social distancing. And keep drawing and creating art. See you later.